Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of a Massive Chalice by Double Fine Productions. It is the year 27, day 101, and there's upcoming events and all sorts of stuff. We're going to adopt the baby girl. That's what we decided to do in the last little bit there, and it is going to happen. The Cadence is invading the nation, attempting to drastically increase the corruption in our lands. All right, well, we can let this one go. We have nothing there. Two experience for each, two times the experience for each enemy killed. Or we can defend this, which will give us also two times the experience from a successful mission. And I think we need to do that because I don't want to know what happens when we get another thing. I don't know if this is going to clear it up, but we're going to find out. We will have questions answered very soon. All right, it looks like our squad has some room to... I'd say grow, but maybe not. We have two people that are about dead. But you know what? I think they're still going to be okay. Alright, so who do we have? We have someone here who needs to upgrade, apparently. We have Brainy, Hardy, Slow Learner. Seems weird. How can you be Brainy and a Slow Learner? Alright, I don't know, but I'm going to roll out with him. I like it. And can we increase his ability? Yeah, we can. Alright, there we go. And let's see, what do we have here? We're going to add another hero. Hold on, let's see what we are actually running. I need another Caberjack guy. A Caberjack guy, and I don't care. What? Els Anderson is 60 years old. That is pretty darn old in this game. 63 on this one. Holy crap on a stick. All right, well, we need a Caberjack that's not, like, ready to fall over dead. Um, we have a 37, a 43, a 33. That might be the youngest. What else do we have? A 53. Well, I guess we're going to go with the 33. What does Athos have? Slow learner. That sucks. Uh, quick movement. Eh, an Avenger. Well, that doesn't seem like a thing you'd really want, necessarily. But, eh, whatever. We'll roll with it. Um, didn't we... Get better armor? Yeah, I thought we did. Alright, so we're going to equip that. Ooh, it changes on the character model. I haven't actually got to see if that worked or not yet. That is pretty awesome, i got to say. Alright, so we're going to do that, and we're going to do the same thing with him. We'll give him the refined caber jack armor with five. What? Armor. That's going to be nice. And I think we're going to roll out with that. So we got the old man and the old woman and a bunch of younglings. Well, semi-young. We're going to deploy. Hopefully this pans out for us. If not, well, we'll see what happens. It's a fine day for battle, all things considered. Every day is a fine day for battle. I agree wholeheartedly, my dear. I agree wholeheartedly. All right, well, let's start scouting out with our invisible-type people. Looks like the only move we can make that's going to keep us hidden is there. And it looks like we found some folks out there. A seed so to speak. Um, how far can we stealth with him? Or her, rather. Hey, it's Emma the Brewmaster Blackwell. So she got, like, a nickname. That's pretty sweet. Gotta say, I like that. There's drips behind us. It's kind of interesting. Um, I'd like to kill that, but I think it hurts us. Let's give it a shot. We'll see. We have 15 hit points. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to blow up, but I don't know if it's going to... Oh! Oh my gosh, it does so much damage. Alright, well that was a terrible idea. I should slap myself for that one. Oh, I feel so bad now. That was really not a good thing. Alright, well, at least we know. I mean, we can set that up as a nice, nasty little trap. I think I'm going to move over here, though. There is a pathway this way, but... I don't know what that's to. Looks like there's a little bit of a AoE explosive area as well, so... Something to keep in mind. Something to keep in mind. Well, let's see if the enemy is rolling out on us. Looks like at least one is. And maybe two, maybe three? Nope, just two. And, oh, oh okay, so we somehow can... See. Oh, yes, that improved hearing. Yes, 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 I remember that now. Okay, so that, those are actual enemies. That's interesting and kind of cool to know. Alright, can we attack that? Okay, I 
did a decent chunk of damage, and we can melee him. We will, and that's sweet, sweet, nice. I think we're okay with the two of them. I guess we're gonna we're gonna set him back just to kind of be like a backup situation here. Um, I don't know. Ooh, why do we have such bad aim? With well, Tor Toronto, hmm. I think I'm gonna back up and then I'm gonna just take a shot. Oh, we actually hit though. I'm sort of similarly impressed, I guess. Um, should be able to move there and still be okay. And we'll end our turn, and that should do it. He'll move forward. Oh, dang it, I didn't move far enough. That's unfortunate. But again, not that big of a deal. It's not the end of the world. Looks like we still have two folks moving over there. I'm sure there's several more in other places, but eh, you never know. Alright, let's knock him back. And confirm it. <laughs> That is going to hurt. Oh, if they touch it, they blow up too. Interesting. Well, heavens strike. Well, that was pretty cool. Alright, we'll go into stealth mode over this way. And it looks like there are indeed some of these other things. I can't seem to remember the names of these things. I don't remember. Ah, that's right. It's like I have a lapse in memory. <laughs> Sorry. I know, guys, it wasn't great. Well, that's great. Alright, so we do have some more enemies spotted, and they should come our way eventually. I think we're going to do some stealth maneuver. No? Oh, there's no point. Alright. Well. If I move here, I probably don't have a shot. No, I don't. Alright, so we'll move here as well. And in the off chance that we actually need some more burly backup, we'll send him over there, and yeah, we'll end our turn. We'll see what transpires next. The lapse is actually hesitant to do anything, which is a little odd. I wouldn't say overwhelmingly so, but a little bit. And the sea didn't seem to really want to play with us either there. Hmm. Let's see if we move over here. Is there anything else we can actually find or see? It does not appear so. Oh, there is something. Oh, that's not cool. Alright, well, we're a little bit away from this thing. Uh, can't quite hit that far away. Um, so I'll move there. Alright, so that side is uh, done. Uh, I'm going to move over here. And take a 65% shot, which seems really weird. But that was so bad. Hmm. Yeah, all right, we got a straight, easy kill there. That was, uh, more than I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, Slippery, I wonder if that's, like, a new trait that they've unlocked, because I don't remember seeing that before. I'm sure the lapse is going to close and attack. Hopefully it misses. No such luck. Minus 150 experience. Not great. That lapse doesn't know what to do yet, so that's not terrible for us. Uh, looks like we still have some stealthy abilities to go and utilize. Uh, I think I'm going to move over here. Go in the turn. Um, kind of shot in 80%. Let's see if we do the follow up. Hopefully, we actually hit. Surprise! And boom! And you go. Rane vivet. Yeah, whatever that means. Woohoo! Alright, so that worked out pretty darn good. We're like, yeah, you know what? You can roll out on us, but we're gonna roll right back out on you. You ain't got nothing. This ain't even our whole night. We're just getting warmed up. Anytime you're ready. Alright, so do we have a shot? We do. And we can do the same exact move. Let's see if the old woman can do it. Emma missed. Oh, that's embarrassing and awful. That is just god awful. Alright, well. Looks like if we do this. That might actually work out the best. 
back. Not quite enough, actually. From where I'm standing. Um, should be able to melee him. Why don't I move there? We'll do the free throw. And man, he dies. And that is super nice. Heerg! And we can actually throw that ball. Not a high percent chance to hit, but we actually landed the attack. That is mildly impressive. I'm not going to lie. That was mildly impressive. Um, yeah, let's roll out that way. Run past the explosive plant thingy. Which did not blow up, I might add. We're going to play it a little safer on the side with these two. They're like our rogue or our stealth operatives. Oh, Emma. It's okay. You'll gain your level back. I wouldn't worry too, too much about it. Because you're going to take your shot right now, and you're not going to miss this time. You 50, you gain your level back, and die. That looks like you get to regain whatever else you lost as well. Um... I guess there's a skill that went bye-bye or something? I don't... I don't really know. I don't see anything else lingering in this area. So perhaps we found everything. Alright, we'll continue on with our stealth exploration. I think that might be the best place to move. And I see nothing yet. Doesn't mean there's nothing there, I just see nothing yet. Aha! The seed has shown himself. And he will pay for it. Alright, I think if I moved there, it might be the best course of action. Down he goes, and the Caberjack did it, the Heaven Strike, and that might be the end of the mission? Nope. No such luck, if you consider that luck, I suppose. Alright, well, we can't stealth there, but we're gonna move there anyway. He reveals him. It is what it is. Move up with the Caberjack. Oh. Hmm. I don't know about that. I think I might back up. I think we'll actually wait it out here, and should be able to stealth up a little bit further. There we go. So in the next turn, perhaps, we'll go for that. We'll see. The seed moves forward, the lapse moves forward, and this seed also moves forward. Alright, so first things first, let's see if we can get rid of this one straight out. And bam, down he goes. The heavens strike once again. That's his little battle cry of death. I don't hate it. 55% it is slippery, I guess, and we missed, and there's no such thing as a secondary shot when we miss the first. Unfortunate, but it is simply what it is. 90%, let's not miss the first shot, and let's hit the second one as well. Boom, down goes the last. Sweet, sweet, nice. More experience for our person who is about to die, unfortunately, but I'm hoping that we get a a relic from this. I don't know how that works, but Emma has been part of almost every single one of her combats thus far, so I assume if anyone would have a relic, it would be her. And she also has a lot of kills. Ooh, baby, baby attack, baby damage, it's okay. It's okay. Um, bam, down he goes, and that might be the end. Let's see. That's it. We've done it. Call there. the cooks! For every pawn killed today, I want a roasted turkey waiting for that hero. Just shutting the door on vegetarians again, huh? <laughs> you always forget about the vegetarians. Oh, excuse me, yes. Sorted salads as well, please. <laughs> Sorted salads as well, please. All right. So, Emma got four more kills that round, and it looks like our caberjacker, Athos, managed to get five, which is mighty impressive for a caberjack. I am pretty happy with that. Our other hunter got two, which is mildly impressive as well. The mission experience is significantly higher. Not sure why it's higher for certain people than others. I don't know. I honestly don't know. It seems like the two younger folk actually gained less exp No, no, I don't I don't know why. I actually have no idea. Mission experience is 450, 450. Four oh, I do know why. Never mind. I'm stupid. I'm sorry, guys. These both have the dimwit ability where they don't seem to learn things very quickly. 
Uh, we can level him up immediately, and I think we should do that. And we'll level her back up, because they stole her ability when they de-leveled her. And we will proceed! Oh, okay, good. So you can actually counteract the triggers. And I was hoping to see if that that was one of the things I really was hoping for. And it actually worked out. That's exactly what I was I was really, really, really hoping for. Oh, we had another death, unfortunately. A baby, a heroic baby girl tuned to the chalice has been found. Choose a home where our brand new hero will be adopted to train. We have a 61 to 27. 14 to 45. I guess we'll go here. Alright, that's fine. Um, so there's our trainees. 14 is also the the regent, which is pretty funny. Uh, then our legacy as a partner at age 27. Eh, it is simply what it is, I guess. That's kind of a little strange, I realize. Um, I think we're going to go with a web. Oh, we can't. We have to get more ruptures. Mm. So we'll go with some more armor, I guess we could do that. Um, what does this offer us? Caber jacks don't sell for anything, and neither should we. Let's research an advanced set of armor for those unwavering heroes. And unstable carapace armor. Uh, alchemist, that's, that's not terrible. Uh, recruitment bonus. Uh, I think we could also adopt maybe... Eh... Let's build the Crucible. Four years to do that. Shouldn't be terrible. One of these places had... There we go. Okay, we're going to build the Crucible over there. And who died? Els Anderson died at the age of 61 from natural causes. We're going to advance the timeline, hopefully. Oh, we have more death. Alright, so we had a baby... Oh, oh an orphan abandoned? What, what did that say? I'm sorry, folks. Oh, orphan adoption. Okay, so they adopted the hero. Lystra and Fibino died as well. The coming of age of Jeffrey Blackwell. That's probably good. I think he is the, uh... Is he the ruler? No. I apologize, folks. I can probably see just from here. Yeah, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Blackwell is now officially there, and they can start banging out some kids. Apparently. Huh. Alright, uh, what else do we have? Um, a hero birth. Alright, a baby boy is born. To Aquaria and Charles at Rana. Where was this at? Alright, so there's the parents and a bunch of siblings. I like that. And we're going to continue to advance the time. We are now up to year 32. Another baby, another baby. Something I think another coming of age. Come up. We don't know what to make of it. Huh. You groggily awaken to Athos Siridar staring at your arm with a smile that both confuses and excites you. Your eyes meet. Hey, want to arm wrestle? That's creepy. Play to win and show your heroes why you're the ruler. Let Athos win. Embarrassment could hinder performance on the battle. Make Athos arm wrestle Andrea Hodhue as punishment for waking you up for this. Uh, it seems you need to start working out. Two out of three. <laughs> well, so be it. That's fine. That is fine. Alright, we'll continue on. A new crucible has been completed. Boost the experience of our trainees by appointing a new standard. All right, I don't know what any of this if means. If you're interested but... in sharpening your heroes, crucibles are where the training regimens for the nation are set. Okay. Anybody can become a standard, but the more experience one is, the more that will be passed on to trainees. And if the regimen is good, the trainees can even pick up skills from their standard Ooh. to make up for their weaknesses. Nice. He's a lonely post, however. I don't know about that. Those training dummies are pretty lifelike. <laughs> Those training dummy, training, training dummies are pretty lifelike. Uh, well, there's always the problem with this. Again, I don't know where or how we get the trainees and everything else. Simply because our our most experienced people seem to be really old. No offense, again, 61 is not that old, but in this game, that's like a death sentence. 
And then on the flip side, we have Tirano and, Fibia, uh, and Fibino, which is eh, pretty experienced, but at the same time, could be more useful on the other way. All right, you know what? We're just going to activate him. I'll throw him in there. It's fine. Boom. You sure? Yep, I do. I'll it's the only standard. job I'd ever be interested in. Not much danger, sure. But you get to fight every day Ooh. and inspire others. All to the cries of struggle and incapacitating injuries. I like that. Uh, Sounds relaxing. Benefits. Right? Okay. So, so be it. Um, the only thing I don't understand is how does that work out in general? Um... I guess we'll recruit some more new heroes. I mean, we, we kind of need to. So the Crucible's here. But do we have anyone training? I don't know. And it looks like... We have a coming of age and another coming of age. Alright, well that's good. We'll continue on. And... Aquaria and Fibino, Regent of Rana, has died at 66. That's a pretty old uh, person in the grand scheme of things in this game. All right. Um, it looks like we're looking for a woman. So 21. Brainy, strong-willed, reveler, insightful, uh, but asthmatic. It's not terrible. Uh, who else do we have? Sluggish, ooh, uh, asthmatic and bear strength. Eh. I think we're gonna go with. Well, let's go with Celine. Yep, there we go. All right, it is done. It is. It is done. Oh, and you get to choose a husband, huh? High fertility, so it doesn't really matter. Um, well, we're not gonna go with the fifty-nine. Moderate, um, 61's even worse, jeez, uh, 40, 37, 34, I don't really want a 15, 21 and 15's not terrible, I guess, it's disturbing to me on a personal level, but, eh, whatever, this actually seems really bad, I don't want these traits passed on, though, uh, let's not do that one, let's, uh, let's take a look at Charles, 32 is too old. Ah, whatever. We're going to be terrible at this. It's fine. Maybe one day we'll figure out how we can actually get out of being terrible. Alright, so that is done. We'll advance again. Three more years. New recruits are on their way. Hopefully another battle ensues and we'll get to see it. If not... I guess we're just going to break it off here. A small group of Chalcetune citizens have been found and added to our heroic roster. We're going to go back to the capital, and it looks like these are the new people. And there's actually quite a few. That's good. Oh, look at this good person. Sulk of Vassenbrau. Alchemist. We've got hunters, alchemists, all sorts of stuff. Is Emma still alive? Holy cow, she's the oldest person ever to walk the face of the planet. Along with Grigori. The last of the original batch, I believe. Uh, we need to do a research. I guess we can do some armor research. Um, we can do veiled armor. Lapses, extraordinary, illusion, uh, illusionary properties with enough residue. Stealth abilities for hunters. Oh, I like that. Let's do that one. That actually seems more useful than the other one. Because the hunters are not really getting hit that much, guys. But I guess I can break off the episode here. It's been about 25 minutes, and the next combat could take me another 20 minutes. So, in the interest of keeping the episodes between 25 and 35 minutes, we're going to break it off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And... Yeah, keep in mind, folks, that I am going to try to do this as a daily series alongside of XCOM. I don't think the game is as long as most of the other stuff I'm running. So I'd say maybe two weeks or so I should be able to get through it, something along those lines. I could be wrong. It could take a little bit longer, but yeah, 
I don't know, I'm enjoying the game, so I want to play it. So this is the way I can play it. I could play it on my own, but then where's the fun in that, right? Either way, guys, that's going to do it. I will see you tomorrow with more Massive Chalice. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.